everybody welcome back to my channel um, I thought I would just show you today what I eat in a day on Slimming World I've not been completely on track with Slimming World throughout lockdown I've tried but I don't think I've had a single day where I haven't gone over my sins um, but I really want to get back on the wagon so starting today I'm being super super good Please excuse my daughter in the background, she's just playing with Play-Doh and singing about the colours. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought that I would show you all the different things that I eat in a day whilst staying completely on track with Slimming World. Really nice to have you here. For anyone who's new, I'm Sabrina and it's just wonderful to see new faces coming onto my channel. Um, so yeah, stick around to see what I eat today. So I've got my Slimming World book already out on the table here, I put this out last night and I've got this out just to keep me fully on track and accountable for everything that I'm eating today. But first things first, I need a cup of tea, I'm going to be having one sweetener in my tea instead of sugar because sweetener is sin free. Um, and I always start the morning with a cup of tea, I just have to have it. So I'm going to be adding some semi-skimmed milk to my tea. I'm not actually measuring it out. Where I'm breastfeeding at the moment, I get three healthy A's, which is dairy, and one healthy B, which is fiber. I don't tend to have milk um, with anything other than my tea, to be honest, so I don't, I'm not actually going to be counting this out and measuring this milk. Um, because I get three of them, I'm kind of just assuming that all the tea, all the milk that I have in my tea is going to equate to one healthy extra. Next up, I'm going to be getting my breakfast out of the fridge and last night I made these overnight oats, so I'll be having those this morning. This is 40 grams of oats with one um, light fat-free yogurt and some raspberries. So I was using this Brooklyn light strawberry yogurt and as I said, because it's fat-free, it means that it is only one sin. So that means that I can have a nice healthy filling breakfast for only one sin. It's lunchtime now and the kids have asked for a sandwich. I obviously will not be having a sandwich. Um, I actually had my breakfast really late in the morning because I don't, I can't eat when I first get up. I just, I'm not someone who can just wake up out of bed and eat food. So I had my breakfast quite late in the morning. So I'm probably gonna have my lunch um, early afternoon instead of lunchtime. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna have a banana and we've got some watermelon left. I'm gonna chop that up and have some of that as well, just as a little snack. entire half of that melon because I'm gonna have some and the kids will also have some so that's gonna do us all for snack and lunches. So I'm also just gonna peel this carrot and I'm gonna cut it into batons or batons or batons whatever it is you call them and um, just because I really like raw carrot and I find that it's a really good go-to snack just to have like some carrot sticks ready so that when I feel a bit peckish or I just want something to munch on because I'm bored or just want to do something with my hands um, then at least I know I've got some nice healthy carrot sticks waiting for me to eat. So I was just going to do one but now looking at it I might actually cut up a couple of carrots just so that I've got plenty there and probably also because the kids are likely to want some as well, so I'll probably do two or three carrots. I love carrots. I absolutely love raw carrot. So it is now time for Kirk and I to have lunch and I'm just putting six eggs into a pan. I'm going to be making scrambled eggs. 
So again, I'm using semi-skimmed milk um, and I'm also putting that towards my one healthy extra because I've only had one cup of tea so far today. Um, I'm just putting some spinach in here. I haven't actually got any fresh spinach, so I've just taken a frozen piece out of the freezer and um, run some boiling water over it and I've popped that in and that works just as well. So here we have it, this is my spinach and scrambled egg on toast and this is Kirk's over here. I'm only having one slice of bread which is four sins as it is 50-50 slice. So we're now mid-afternoon, I definitely do not feel hungry at all at the moment. Um, I had quite a late lunch as I said before so um, I feel quite full up but I am craving something sweet. So I'm gonna have a Pepsi Max Cherry. I love these, these are my favorite. Any fizzy drink, this is my favorite. I love Pepsi Max, love the cherry. So yeah, so I'm gonna have this and hopefully that will just quench my um, need for something sweet and sugary. These are free, uh, sin free on Slimming World, so I don't have to count this as sin. Obviously just because it's sin free, like, it wouldn't be good to just drink 10 of them in a day just because they're free, like, it's not good for your health obviously, and I've definitely been known to drink more than I should in a day, um, but I'm going to try and just literally just have this one, just so that I'm getting my sweet fix without going into the unhealthy zone. So I've just got back, we've just been out for a drive, me and the kids. We went to drive to my mum's just so that we could wave at them through a window and I could get some gardening shears from them. Um, it's really, really hot and being in a car when it's this hot is not actually that pleasant. So um, we've just got back and it is 20 to 6 so I need to do some dinner. Um, I'm going to do something fairly quick. It's not actually something I've done before so I'm hoping that it's not going to take me ages just because I've never done it. But we're going to have a chicken stir fry this evening. So I've already got the chicken out defrosting on the side. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do the sauce yet so I'm going to look up something online for the sauce. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a whack. product for today's dinner. So we've got noodles and chicken stir fry um, and I pretty much just kind of made it up as I went along. The only thing I did do, I'd seen online to put um, a quarter pint of chicken stock in um, but other than that I kind of just made it up as I went along. So everybody so far has said that it looks really good so I'm going to try it and see what it's like. I think it looks really yummy but hopefully the proof is in the pudding. So for pudding, we are having these meringue nests. 
Uh, so these ones are two and a half cents each, so I'm gonna have two, which is five cents. And I've also got a tiny little dollop of Nutella on the side. And then we've got some chopped strawberries and that should hopefully curb my sweet craving for this evening. So that is just a general rough kind of idea of what I eat in a day on Slimming World. I would love to know what your favorite Slimming World meals are, in particular, um, lunches i think i really struggle with lunch ideas it's so much easier for me to come up with like breakfast and dinners but not so much lunch so if you've got any great slimming world lunch ideas for me then please leave them in the comments and i can't wait to read them thank you so much for watching guys have a great day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video